put them all together and it is going to bring your relationship to the next level, guaranteed. Hey everybody, it's Travis here. Welcome back to the channel. I've got a really exciting video for you. It's gonna be about the seven fundamentals of having a successful long distance relationship. I'm gonna talk briefly on them and I really hope that you get something from this and you can take away this information and apply it to your relationship. Um, our first one that we're gonna roll into is gonna be commitment, okay? Commitment is, is a funny thing, right? You know, if you're still using a dating app or if you're still trying to look at other options, you're not committed and that's not a bad thing. It's just meaning maybe you just shouldn't be in a relationship right now. You know, maybe you should just be dating around to see what your preferences are and who you like because, you know, this relationships take commitment, especially long distance relationship. No one wants to be stringed along uh, while you got a girlfriend here or a boyfriend in, but you also have one uh, wherever you're at, you know. We don't wanna, we don't wanna mess with that, okay? So first one is commitment. Second, communication, hands down, um, this can this ranks right up there at the top um, you got to communicate you don't have to necessarily be a chatterbox with your significant other boyfriend girlfriend um, but you need to communicate hey how was your day you know how are you doing today uh, is there anything I can do for you you know just be very very, very nice very communicative and very receptive um, of them all right um, number three you have to be compromising all right and I wrote something down here Yes, you do not have the I am right attitude. So a lot of boyfriend, girlfriends, they have that, you know, they, they bow their chest out and they're like, no, I'm right, you're wrong. And whoa, pump the brakes, y'all. It's not always like that. You gotta get rid of that I am right attitude and have a compromise. Okay, we gotta compromise here with our with our significant others because it's, it's not a one-way street, okay? Two of you, it's two-way street. So just be sure that you compromise. Um, our fourth is going to be our connection and this is, how do I want to say this? This is your intimacy. This is your, you know, your love, you being physical, emotional, spiritual. This is that connection, that spark that you all have and you need to keep that strong, okay? That is, it's so essential, okay? And going on to number five, we got contribution. What are you contributing? And the contributions can be, you know, you you bringing, you know, humor to the dinner table or, you know, those little things that you do just to make your significant other feel, you know, proud or happy to be with you. Going to the gym, you know, staying in shape or staying healthy. Those little things, those things that you contribute um, and, and it's a give and take, you know, it goes both ways, but that contribution is a huge key, okay? And another big one, moving on to six, is companionship. All right, and it's not what you think. You know, it could be going out to a movie. It could be going out to the park or experiencing something together. That companionship is what everyone needs. We need to feel that we have a companion that we can go to and talk to them, go to the movie, to a restaurant, have a dinner date. You know, if you have kids, get a babysitter. Go have a dinner date with your wife or your spouse or significant other, whatever it is. Um, we need that companionship uh, as humans. Uh, I think it's, it's, it's essential to have it. And for our last one is compassion. Um, you know, you need to stop what you're doing, listen deeply, and show that sympathy and the empathy and, and be emotionally connected with your significant other, okay? These fundamentals are basic. If you are missing some of these, it could be a rocky start to your relationship and or ever prolonging your relationship. Um, I go over these because I have made mistakes. I have made these mistakes and, and I've missed them. Um, and, and when you start to understand what the give and take is, you know with your significant other and what they need these seven C's these fundamentals we have commitment a communication compromise connection contribution companionship and compassion put them all together and it is going to bring your relationship to the next level guaranteed now it is 
up to the individual person to read into them. You know, don't just go by Webster dictionary, dictionary on these terms, right? You know, actually look at them and what they what do they mean to you? Because a lot of things can be perceived differently. So my compassion to Jessa could be completely perceived differently to someone else. But for me, that's compassion and she knows that. Um, or my communication to her, or my commitment to her, or my contribution to the ratio. I'm crazy, right? My contribution could be joy and humor and just being crazy, throwing curveballs at her all the time. And she, you know, it keeps that spark and she likes that. We enjoy, we enjoy, we enjoy each other, um, each other's company like that. Um, we love having, you know, having that companionship, going out to the parks or a movie, or even, you know, watching Netflix or just doing something together. I really hope that this video shined uh, a brief light on some of these fundamentals and I honestly think if you take these and apply them to your relationship, you will have nothing but success. I hope you like this video. Please put your comments below, like and subscribe and I cannot wait to um, be there for a next video for you guys in the very near future. Thanks for watching everyone.